Shape tweens in Adobe Animate CC are fairly easy. You probably won't use them a lot, but they do come in handy from time to time. In this tutorial video, I'll show you how to create a basic shape tween, and then I'll show you a way to morph text into shapes by making text itself a shape. The first thing I want to show you is how to create a basic shape tween. With a basic shape tween, you have to start out by creating one keyframe that has a shape on it, and then creating a second keyframe with a second shape on it, and then adding a shape tween. Right now I have a layer called star to pentagon. We want to morph this red star into a green pentagon. To do this, on the first keyframe, we drew a red star. Now what we need to do is go to frame 30, or whichever frame you choose, go to insert, timeline, blank keyframe. The reason why we chose blank keyframe is because we want the star to be on frames 1 through 29, and on frame 30, we didn't want to copy the star, we wanted to create a whole new object for which it can morph into. So what we're going to do is grab the polygon tool, change the color, and we can go ahead and draw somewhere on the stage our new polygon. Grab the selection tool and move it to where we want it to go. So if we scrub the playhead from frame 29 to frame 30, we can see that we eventually want this star on the left to morph into this green pentagon on the right. Now that we have our first keyframe, which is the red star, and the second keyframe, which is the green pentagon, we can right click in the middle and choose Create Shape Tween. What happens now is our frames turned green to let us know that a shape tween is in play. And as per usual in Adobe Animate, we created the keyframes and Adobe Animate will create all the frames in between, which is what we call the tween. So if we scrub this playhead from frame one all the way down, you can see that it slowly morphs from a star that's red to a pentagon that's green. If we were to turn onion skinning on, we can see all of these different in-between frames that Animate CC has created for us. So again, if we scrub it, we can kind of see that morph. Let's go ahead and turn onion skinning off. Now this only works when you're using shapes. You can't do this with pictures. You can't do this necessarily with editable text. You can't do it with any complex objects or movie clips. You can only do it with basic shapes. But there is a way to get around that rule in terms of text. I'll go ahead and lock this layer so I don't modify it and turn on my next layer which is called shape text. On this layer I still have text that is editable. Now this can't be morphed into a shape because text that is editable is not a shape. However what we can do is we can break this text apart to turn it into a shape. So what we're going to do is make sure that the word is selected, go up to modify and choose break apart. Now the first time you break it apart it's going to break it into all the different letters of the text. With them all selected again, I can go up to Modify and choose Break Apart again. And now you can see it looks like these were created in Merge Drawing Mode as indicated by the little dots when they are selected. This means that it's no longer editable text. I can't come in here and retype this word. What it does mean though is they are now shapes, which means I can morph them using shape tweens. So again, because on my keyframe one I have the shape I want to start with, I can come to frame 30, right click and choose insert blank keyframe, and put whatever object or shape I want it to morph into. So I can go ahead and let's choose a blue circle and pop that in there. And now that we have our starting and ending keyframes, I can right click in the middle and choose create shape tween. So as I scrub this back and forth, notice that all of those letters morph into a blue circle. To make this even more complex, I can cut and paste each letter of the word onto its own layer. Make sure to use the Paste in Place option from the Edit menu to get it to sit in correct position. Once each letter is on its own layer, I can then add a blank keyframe to the end of each layer, add the objects I want each letter to morph into, and then add shape tweens. This will allow each letter to morph individually. 
So that's how to create a basic shape tween in Adobe Animate CC.